Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwam ya sha'ala, koholoimla. Yahweh bahashim, Yahweh shai, bahashim, rakah hakudash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, whom led by the Spirit, taught us this beautiful truth, and just want to say the water to all the Akiyam and Akwaf. That's out here sincerely, keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh bahashim, Yahweh shai, to the best of their ability. This is Yachanan the Waf, just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson. Praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. You know, this is one of those stories, you know, I had done a lesson the other day, you know, just before all this Christmas stuff went down and, you know, talking about how people were going to be deleted and, you know, people, how people argue and, you know, this is supposed to be the, 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 the peaceful best time of the year and all this other shit and families be bickering, going back and forth. These vain ass holidays cause more division than they cause, you know, the getting together of families, you know, well, anyway. New York Post, and this is one of those examples of what I was talking about the other day. Florida mother shot dead by brother over unequal Christmas gift exchange. See that shit? Unequal Christmas gift exchange. And, 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 and he's effeminate ass. That's an effeminate trait, man, to be bitching about some damn gifts. But you best believe... Like I said again, hey, it, and there's plenty of stories. A lot of stories are starting to pop up since it's, you know it's all over with. People have been, been jumping off goddamn high rises. People have been doing all manner of bullshit. Um, I, you know, I've been seeing murder, suicides, Christmas, this, you know, just. So we understand that the customs of the people are vain. The scriptures clearly says that. But see, the Lord set this all up. It says a 23-year-old mother in Florida was killed by her younger brother. Sunday during a family dispute over Christmas gifts. The argument began as Abrielle Baldwin, her two sons, aged six and ten months, were out shopping Sunday night with the, with her two teenage brothers, aged 15 and 14, and their mother, Penelis. Okay, and their mother, okay. Baldwin's 14-year-old brother was apparently upset that his older brother was getting more gifts than he, sparking an argument. Bitches. See, that, that's a bitch. That's a bitch attitude. It's a lot here for the language, but, you know, you got to just go, <laughs> you know, just you get straight to the point, man. That's 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 what that's what, you know, little girls act like, man. And you can clearly see. And when I be reading these stories, you don't hear about no men in, 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 um, in, in the um, articles. You don't hear about no, no father, no uncle, no, no grandfather, no. You know, no, you don't hear about no men. It's just generally men. I mean, generally women and these these goddamn boys or these these young men, supposedly, that's acting like women, man. Because this is a you know, I can't even say this is a woman's trait, but women do act like that. You, you, you know, you a dude, you bitching about some Christmas gifts. But then I can understand the age range, too. You know what I'm saying? Because Jake not being raised, man, um, properly, man. Jake is out here learning the ways of the heathen and they out here just, you know, moving about life like it's just, you know, they, they, they like Instagram models or some shit, man. Anyway. It says, uh, so they had this family spat about who was getting what and what money was being spent on who you, you, you pissed about somebody else spending money on who they want to spend money on. That shit is retarded, bro. And you know what? That's um, t that's the reason why I, I left I left Christmas alone before I came into this truth. And I and, and that's shit how about Shimmy I was shy. I do understand and realize that that was the Lord, man, getting me out of that that mindset. Because I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> I said it the other day when I done that lesson. I used to get great gifts for people, you know, because I put thought into a gift. I'm, you know, I'm like if I know you into something. Or if I know you, you know, you're doing something, you know, I put thought into you, what I was getting you. It wasn't like I'm just rolling up and I'm just like, oh, I'm going to get this nigga something. No, I was putting real thought and real money into getting gifts, man. Hundreds of dollars on one person, hundred dollars, hundreds of dollars on the next person, hundreds of dollars. You know, just really like going the extra length, you know. And then, you know, at Christmas, here I am getting a, a you know, a pack of damn boxer briefs or some shit. Some socks. <laughs> you know, some shit that I don't even, you know. Motherfucker give me a tie. Motherfucker, I don't even wear suits. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So I remember that. And, and, and then it dawned on me. I'm like, you know what? 
all that money I spent on them, I could have saved that money. I could have spent that money on myself. And that's what I started doing, you know, generally, you know, I just stopped getting people gifts. I started spending a little money on myself, you know, getting myself something nice, you know. And, you know, a lot of the times, you know, you feel guilty about doing certain things for yourself. Like, you'll go all out. I was just thinking about that yesterday. And, you know, um, yeah, how about you? I wish I checked me on it. Like, you know, when I buy something for myself, I'm feeling all guilty. And, and why should I? Why did I do that? Why did I? I could have said, you know, and yeah, how he? You know, I, I felt it in my spirit. Like, you know, why are you getting on yourself about doing something nice for yourself when you don't do nothing nice for yourself ever? And that's something that, you know, we have to do, too. And you know what? There's a scripture. Let me, you know, I know going a little outside of the, uh, well, I can't say it's going outside of the lesson. Because of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh man's goings of the Lord. But let me get this real quick. Because I do all kinds of shit for other people and never do nothing for myself. I've always been that way. I've always been that way. Just chill. You know, I'm, I'm pretty stoic. I can't put it that way. I can't say that I'm pretty stoic, you know. Um, and when I do actually buy myself something, and it could be something that I really need, <laughs> and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm feeling some type of way about it, you know, like why? And the Lord checked me on that yesterday. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, why? Why are you worried about? You know what I'm saying? You know, why don't you know? Why are you down on yourself about doing something nice for yourself when you work? You know, you, you're supposed to do something nice for yourself when you work. I just, you know, pretty much, I'm generally, you know, I pay the bills, and I'm pretty much, that's it for me. <laughs> you know, I don't get into too much or nothing else. But this is um, Ecclesiasticus 14 and 14. I'm also known as the Book of Sirach, if you got the 1611 King James Bible. Defraud not thyself of a good day, and let not the part of good desire overpass thee. So, you know, you, you know, it's nothing wrong with doing something nice for yourself. You don't want to be, you know, just overindulging or, you know, because I'm pretty, I guess what they would call frugal in a sense. But I, but I don't go nowhere. I don't do anything. I'm, I'm just all about this truth, man. You know, and, and, and you know, all praise to you. How about you? I was shot for that. That's all I want to do. All I want to do is do my lessons. I got the equipment that I have. You know, the, the phone bill is paid so I can do these lessons. I have the Internet. And, and, you know, generally I walk through aisles and I see if they got new equipment or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I got a microphone. I got tripods. I got, you know, all kinds of stuff to do lessons. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, if it, it's I got power banks. I got, you know, extra cords. I got, you know what I'm saying? So generally I spend money on stuff like that because, you know, I'm trying to put towards the ministry. But overall, shit, I don't be spending no money like that on, on nothing else or at least myself. Because like I said, again, I don't go nowhere, which I probably should be doing a little bit better about that, you know, because there is balance to this truth. You do want to get out and about. But, you know, me just getting out, man, and getting a walk. I go for my walks every day. You know, that's enjoyment for me. You know what I'm saying? Seeing the Lord's creation, you know, that's that's that, that's enough for me. But, you know, still, though, you know, don't get all down on yourself when you need something and, and, and you and you actually spend some money on yourself. Because we spend money on all, uh, I'll spend money on anybody. I'm always putting into somebody else, but you know, it, you know, I feel that some somewhat of a guilty moment when I'm putting into myself. Like that don't make no sense, man. Don't don't be like that. And that might be for somebody, <laughs> you know. But let's get back to the uh, to the um, the story at hand. Salakia for that rant, you know. But that might be for somebody. Somebody might, you know. Um, Damn, yeah, Salaki, I'm looking up in the trees, man. He's down. Yeah, we got, um, <laughs> yeah, we got wildlife over here, man. <laughs> you got to watch out, man. It's wildlife in where I'm at, you know. Anyway, uh, it says, okay, okay, so the younger brother was upset that he claimed that the older brother was getting more gifts than him. So they had this family spat about who was getting what and what money was being spent. The family eventually left the store, went to Baldwin's grandmother's house, where the arguing continued. See? And this is where the scriptures comes in at, man. Like, you know, and here, here's the young lady right here. Little young E. She got the son there. 
got the newborn. So now, grandmama got to raise both of these kids. Because, you know, one of them niggas going to jail. <laughs> you know? Well, baby daddy might be in the picture. But like I said, you don't hear about none of these men. It says, while at the residence, the 14-year-old took out a handgun and threatened to shoot his older brother in the head over some fucking Christmas gifts, bro. The, that, that's how you know that Jake is under these curses, man. You can't say that Jake is not under these curses to Deuteronomy chapter 28. This is clear proof. Let me, let me get that real quick. This is clear proof that we are the children of Israel. You can't get around this shit here, bro. What is that? Uh, Deuteronomy 28. What is that? 54. It's a lot. Yep. It says, so that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eye shall be evil towards his brother and towards the wife of his bosom and towards the, re the remnant of, the, of his children, which he shall lead. All that's got to do with the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, which are the true Hebrew Israelites. You're not hearing about, you're not going to hear about no goddamn story about Esau, or I would say Amalek, the people that's over there in the Holy Land, fussing and fighting and killing each other over no goddamn Christmas gifts. Um, or you know well, however they get around over there they got vehicles and stuff I'm just being you know funny but you're not going to hear about that not in the Americas you're not about to hear about no so called Chinese you don't hear about nobody doing shit like that except for our people that's how you know that we are the people of this bible man matter of fact um, how is it worded let me see uh These curses gonna be on us, man. Hey, these curses, they follow us, man. That's a curse. When you'll pull a gun, when you'll put it, when you pull a gun on your family members over some goddamn Christmas gifts, white Jesus, man. Through. Through, bro. Let me see here. Uh Salaki, you know. Let me see. Let me um pull out the blue letter. See, uh, how is it worded? Mm. Yeah, yeah, this is the one that I want. Deuteronomy 28 and 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord Yahweh to keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded thee that's the reason why we're going through what we're going through because Jake don't want to listen and when we say Jake that's short for Jacob Abraham Isaac and Jacob Jacob Yashallah his name was changed to Israel or Yashallah in the Hebrew tongue Jacob don't want to listen man they, 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 they don't want to you, you tell Jake that, you know, you go into, say, let's say, for instance, you go into this scripture right here. Let's get let's get the scripture, what the Lord was telling us about not to um, celebrate these holidays. Right. Um, Salakia. Jeremiah. Chapter 10. And it says a satire on idolatry. And in the NLT side, it says idolatry brings destruction, right? Verse one, hear ye the word of the Lord's. Hear ye the word which Yahweh speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. So this is the, the house of Israel that's being spoken to. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh. Learn not the way of the heathen and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven for the he for the heathen are dismayed at them. See, you're not supposed to learn the way of the heathen. Had they not celebrated Christmas, had they not been into the ways of the heathen, that would have never happened because she wouldn't have been out shopping with them. You know, she's 23 and she's out with her brothers, 14 and 15 years old. And one of these boys is acting like a goddamn complete chick. 
he's probably the one that 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 mama normally um you know uh pacifies because you know the so-called black woman man she's good at what she does but she these 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 young men they need men in their lives when he's these Hey, a 14 year old is getting so pissed about Christmas gifts. I, I you know, you, I get it because you, you, you know, you, 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 from a worldly standpoint, you don't understand, you know, you, you, you know, you're, you're carnal. That carnal shit, that fleshly shit. Because I can remember that Christmas stuff, man, before. When I was a kid growing up, I can remember Christmas, man. I can remember not getting nothing or not getting what I wanted, you know? And generally, I wasn't getting nothing. <laughs> you know, that's just the way that it was. And I can remember all my... And, and this was like... A, it was kind of like, you know, what's the, the Cinderella story? You know, where or Cinderella. You know, you're just in the house. You're doing all the work. You're doing everything. You know what I'm saying? All the other kids are being, you know looked after and you know they, 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 everybody got their favorites and you just in the backdrop don't nobody like your ass you just a black sheep you know you just do the work nigga scrub the floors go cut the grass nigga paint the house do the you know everybody else is being spoiled you know because i used to be up on christmas nights you know what i'm saying i never went to bed on christmas they, ain't send, they didn't send us to you know me and my brother we ain't go to bed on christmas man talking about no goddamn santa claus we was up building bikes and, you know, putting together toys for the other children in the house. You know, because I grew up with, you know, like I said, my grandparents, you know what I'm saying? But all the families would come to the to, to the home. You know, everybody would come from out of town. You know, they'd have moved away. They'd come from, you know, these all different places where they'd have moved to. And they'd all bring gifts. And, you know, it was just like, you know, we was kind of like, we didn't have our parents. We was just kind of like, you know, just chilling with the grandparents basically because, you know, lack of better terms, you know, our parents really, you know, didn't, I, you know, I ain't going to say didn't want us, but I would say didn't want us, <laughs> you know, so we was just, you know, we was just to help. Be glad that you, you know, you got a roof over your head, and I appreciate that to this day, but, you know, when it straight came down to it, we wasn't those children that was waking up to popping open no goddamn Christmas gifts. We was the ones that was up, you know, wrapping them bitches for the other kids and, 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 and you know, putting together the bikes and putting together the toys, anything that needed to be built, you know what I'm saying? Or we done that overnight, you know? Only good thing probably about that shit that came out of that was us, you know, being able to, you know, eat some sweets or some some cookies. And, you know, we, we had first dip some, somewhat to some, some food because <laughs> everybody else was asleep. So, you know, even then, you know, when I was a kid, I was bitter about Christmas. I, I can remember that shit. Just being real bitter about that shit, man. But anyway, thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven for the heathen are dismayed at them for the customs of the people are vain for one cutteth the tree out of the forest and the work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. They deck it with silver and with gold and they fasten it with nails with hammers that it move not. And that's your Christmas. The Lord said to, to not do it. You know, being into this truth, I can. I, I, but like I said, I seen it before I came into the truth. Now I can understand it even more. You know, when I stopped buying Christmas gifts, people was pissed because I used to get them really good gifts. They like you're not celebrating Christmas no more. They like ah, so now they all getting shitty gifts from each other. <laughs> I started spending my own money on myself, and they, you know, I, I seen that to be a problem too. You ain't getting no gifts. What you mean you ain't selling? Cause I used to get people really nice gifts. I would go for real. I was going hard. I wasn't gonna just bring you nothing, nothing that you know. If I knew you was into, say for instance, cars, I might have got you some rims for your shit. <laughs> you know, it, I was I was trying to be pretty thoughtful about that shit. But people, and it's mainly women. They want the best of gifts, and they don't want to get nobody shit. Well, I'm not going to front, you know what I'm saying? Because some some women would go off, you know, they would go all out for their husbands, go all out for, you know, I, you know, I can't say it's, it's all the way like that. But, you know, generally. Women, hey, they like good gifts, man, but everybody want a good gift. Shit, if you getting a damn gift, but them holidays, 
that Valentine, that birthday, that all that shit, people lose, especially niggas. They lose their damn mind when it comes to these holidays. They lose it. They lose it. <laughs> Straight up, man. Anyway, though, let's go back into the story because she got knocked off by her own brother, bro. Here, here, here the lady go right here. You ain't think enough about your nephew. You ain't think enough about the babies, man. You gonna kill your sister over some goddamn Christmas gifts? Bro, I'm telling you, you know we under these curses. We under these curses hardcore, bro. It says so that so they had a they so they had this family spat about who was getting what and what money was being spent on who. The family eventually left the store and went to Baldwin's grandmother's house, where the arguing continued. While in, well, at the residence, the 14-year-old took out a handgun. Now, where the fuck this nigga get a gun from? He took out a handgun and threatened to shoot his, bro his older brother in the head. All right? And they showing these niggas. Like, if these niggas, these niggas look way too old to be acting like that. But, you, hey, 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 and you know niggas with them goddamn dreadlocks? <laughs> hey, when you see a nigga with dreadlocks, man, you might want to turn the other way. For real. It says family members, um, family members present at the home tried to separate the teens, the younger teen, then began arguing with Baldwin and threatened to shoot her and her 10-month-old son. So now you threatening you, not only are you threatening to shoot your brother, you threatening to shoot your sister and your and her and your 10-month-old nephew, dumb nigga. Come on, bro. He then allegedly shot her in the chest with a 40 caliber handgun. Over some fucking Christmas gifts, bro. Nigga, why you ain't get a job and go buy your own shit? Come on, bro. The baby was in the carrier, wasn't harmed. When the 15 year old teen came out of the home, he took out his own 45 caliber handgun and shot his brother in the stomach. So you got a 14 to 15 year old with handguns shooting at each other about some goddamn Christmas gifts. Bro. And like I said, again, these niggas look way older. <laughs> it says DeMarcus and, and, and DeMarcus and Darkus Coley have been named in the murder of their sister. Incredible, bro. Well, this is a way to start your new year. The older team ran from the scene, tossed the gun. The younger team, who allegedly shot Baldwin, was ho hospitalized in stable, in stable condition and will be taken uh, um, into custo custody when he is released. Local prosecutors will review the case and decide whether to charge him as an adult for killing for the killing of his sister. The 15-year-old was arrested and charged with attempted first-degree murder and tampering with evidence. And there you have it. And you know Esau going to get down, too. Esau going to get down on them niggas. Cause you hey, Esau gonna get down on them niggas. Both of them niggas is destroyed. Unless they got some good some some good lawyers. Cause the older brother can say, well, you know what, I was trying to protect my sister. You know, I feared for my life. But where the fuck y'all niggas get them guns from? Y'all gonna have to explain them guns. You see what I'm saying? But those are those curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28. You cannot get around it. Those are the curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28 on our asses. It, the, those curses said, hey, the Lord said that those curses will overtake us. You're overtaken when you can't think. <sighs> I can't even, you know what? Let me, let me grab this, though. I'm going to grab it anyway. I, I, we know that the, these niggas ain't even thinking on this level, but the scriptures talks about being slow to anger. You could have just said, you know what, man, you know, sis, I don't know. Why not just being thankful for what you did get? Boy, boy, boy. Anyway. Proverbs 16 and, 16 and 32. He that is slow to anger is better than the mighty, and he that ruleth his spirit than he that taketh the city. See, you have to be in control of your spirit. You got to be in control of, 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 of your situation. Your, your, you got to be in control of yourself. <laughs> you can't let nobody, when people can just push a button with you, you know, that's why, when you, you know, you get these people, they be like, watch this. You know, check this nigga, watch this. I'm going to do watch this. And they just do something. 
And then all of a sudden, you just all out of your cranium. You can't think. You just fucking just fury. It's just fire just in flame around you, nigga. You just going into, you know, Super Saiyan mode. No, you shouldn't, you shouldn't let people push your buttons like that, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know. But Jake don't have it, man. Jake, are, they're, they're very emotional. They're very feminine. Because like I said, all you're hearing about is women in the story. She was probably spoiling them anyway. You know, my little brothers, you know, hey, my little brother. She probably all, you know, one of them. All, I'm proud of my little brother, his accomplishment. He just, you know, he just won his first Pee Wee football game. This nigga grows up and shoots you and kill you, man. Then the mama, she got to go through all manner of shit. She got to bury her daughter. She got to go back and forth to court for these two niggas. She got to raise a six-year-old and a 10-month-old. <laughs> man, Jake threw, man. And that's the reason why we need our Lord, man. So, hey, it's high time to awake out of sleep and to repent. And that's what I was talking about the other day when I said it's going to be house fires. I've been seeing that. Goddamn, people been getting burnt up in their houses from faulty-ass Christmas lights. People arguing. It's all kinds of spats that's done happen here where I live. So I can't even imagine all the other cities, all the other people that's done passed away. You know what I'm saying? Or got deleted from arguments. You know, it, it, you know, I, I heard of, you know, it was a brother shot, his brother. I, I've been seeing all kinds of stories, but I knew it, though. We, I mean, we said it. This is Esau Edom's kingdom, man, where he's pushing like Jesus, where you're supposed to be at peace. Motherfuckers out here singing Christmas carols. In the meanwhile, you got another half of the country knocking niggas over the head at the ATM machine and carjacking. They roll rage. I done seen all kinds of stories this week. You know what I'm saying? Just from this Christmas shit, man. Because, you know, it, you know, it, you know, it brings out more people. I get that part. But still, where's the love? You know, it's Christmas holidays. You, you know, the motherfucker cut you off. You honk your horn. You throw your hand up and say, oh, it's OK. Nah, uh, uh these motherfuckers pull out a gun. I done seen all manner of stories, but I'm going to end out, man. I just wanted to just touch on this because this right here is not surprising. And then when you go into the comment boards, people act like they, you know, they got it, but they don't. Florida mother shot dead by a brother over unequal Christmas gifts. <laughs> Can't make it up, man. But hey, I bet you she in the spiritual world now knowing that she shouldn't have never been celebrating that shit to begin with. And these little niggas, they going to send them niggas to prison, man. They going to get some time. Then in the meanwhile, and, and we know that a hey, judgment is going out. That's judgment. The Lord going to put the pressure, you know, where where because she she the mama obviously didn't raise these niggas. Right. So now he going to put the pressure on her to raise his her, her daughter's kids. Punishment, judgment. Which you know them niggas probably gonna 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 grow up and not gonna be right. Anyway, with that I pray that the lesson was edifying Kwame Shalom.